system in education system the biggest problem is one human being coming and telling and another human being how many times i should tell you still you have not understood that that the worst thing in an education system support is at this age there is a roller support whereas on the edge of the right side there is a simple support and see it is named as a b c d e and f clear this is a question which is given in the same time there are also angles for this so this is 45 degree this is 45 degree as well Okay, so this is 45 degree this is 45 degree as well right here the question this is the diagram given and the question it is asking what what will be the force in the member c d and the options are something this p l by 2 then option b is given p l option c 0 and option d 2 pl by 3 so this is the question generally given here question is asking what will be the force in the member cd this is the member cd where each member have a length l each member have a length l okay let us assume each one have same length now how to proceed yesterday we have already discussed truss so based on that i will go in the same way so first what we have to do first we need to find the reaction forces so here when i take it i'll take the same so this is the question given our job is to find what our job is to find the so i'm going for the solutions for finding the solution here we are going to find what force on cd right so how can we find the force on in the member cd so to find this first we need to replace this fixtures that is here there is a roller support right when here there is a roller support this roller support will be converted by a reaction force so this is r a correct when this is converted by a reaction force here also if this is a hinge support it will be two two sides ra and hp correct or not now here if you see this is what uniformly distributed load 
because the load is constant throughout the length so here the load finally the load which will be following this is what p right but this p is distributed along the length l so the load will be p l right so this is how it is so first what is the what we do whenever we study trusses the first what we have to do is we have to calculate the reaction forces of RA as well as RB right so we have to find this as well as HB is there correct so RA RB and HB so what I'll do is I'll first find the moment so if we calculate along the y axis the summation of y axis we can see RA is going towards up RB is going towards up whereas the load that is PL is coming down so we can equate up is equal to down that is the positive axis of Y is equal to the negative axis of Y RA plus RB is equal to PL now we have to find so obviously these are the three unknowns two unknowns so we cannot find this so we will go by the moment method so let's say we take moment about A now when we take moment about A this is the point A from here there are two loads one is RB one is PL now PL here that is this is A right here PL is falling at what distance L and this is L this total is L this is falling exactly in between so it will be L by 2 that is this distance is this is A so this will be L plus L by 2 similarly here on the other side there is a reaction force RB and the distance between this is how much 1 2 3 3L so this is 3L now with this we can find the moment about A when you go for finding the moment about A it will be what it will be RB into 3L is equal to PL into L plus L by 2 so what we get over here we get it as RB into 3L is equal to PL this is 2L that is 3L by 2 so 3L 3L got cancelled so we got from here what we got RB is equal to PL by 2 we got RB is equal to PL by 2 I'll put over here so this RB is nothing but PL by 2 now putting the value of RB PL by 2 we can find the value of RA as well so let me put over there so here it is what RA plus RB is equal to PL and we have calculated RB as PL by 2 so RA will be PL minus RB where the value of RB is PL by 2 so from here we get it again PL by 2 so we got to know the reaction of reaction on A reaction on place A and reaction at place B is PL by 2 so here we'll replace the same thing over here so here the reaction load is PL by 2 again so first was what first we need to calculate the reaction forces by using moment and axis forces so after we calculate this what we are going to do we will find the forces in one point so after fine after doing this we'll go to a point a so now we'll go to point a we'll calculate at point a so what is point a this is a i'll change the color
right and this this is r a this is f a c because from a it will be going this like this and this is force a e which is making an angle how much it's a making an angle 45 degree so it is quite clear from this equation that when we resolve this what all things we can get r a is going to our stop this is r a f a c as it is on the right hand side of the axis then f a e is making 45 degree with first quadrant so it means where 45 degree it is making with the x axis so it will be f a e cos theta and here this will be f a e sin theta clear once we get over this now we are ready to resolve so now we'll start with our along fx direction so when we solve the fx what we get is f a c plus f a e cos 45 is equal to 0 because this is what 45 theta over here is what 45 right similarly we can find along y axis so what it will be it will be r a plus f a e sin 45 is equal to 0 so from here we can note that r a value we have already found we know r a value right that is what p l by 2 so i'll take the value of r a p l by 2 this is f a e sin 45 so if you take the opposite side that is f a e if i have to find the value of f a e how can i find the f a e f a e is nothing but force in the column f a e so f a e sin 45 is equal to minus r a so this is sin 45 sin 45 will come down so r a is what p l by 2 this is 1 by root 2 now when we fractionalize what happened this this is the value of sin 45 now to avoid the square root what i have done is i have multiplied and divided by square root of 2 so from here i get it minus pl by 2 into 1 by root 2 by 2 so this 2 this 2 get cancelled so finally we come across minus pl by root 2 so this is what this is the value of fae so fae here also we have value so from there we can find the value of fac fac will be what minus of fae into cos 45 so fae value is how much minus minus it will be plus that is pl by root 2 cos 45 is again 1 by root 2 so this will be pl by 2 so this is what this is the force on AC that is PL by 2 but what question is asking question is asking what is the force in this column CD so how can you find the value of CD so from here we have found the value of what AC this part so now we can find what we can what we can do is let me erase this part so from here we can say what all we have got we got f a e is equal to minus p l by 2 i'll write it here f a e is equal to minus p l by root 2 then we got f a c is equal to p l by 2 right from this 
solving fy and fx at the point a so now we need what we need force on this so we will take point c now let us take point c when you take point c this is point c from there the members are acting on three directions on the right left as well as in the top so here this is the force on the right that is fcd and then this is fc there it is e so it will be fce whereas on the other side it is f c a which is nothing but equivalent to f a c correct because both are what same member so we need to understand here whenever we come across a situation that a point is symmetric to both the sides that is right and left then in that case right will be always equal to left that is in this case f c a here in this case f c a because this is what this is symmetric so whenever a body is symmetric a particle is symmetric then in that case right is always equal to left so f c a is equal to f c d f c a is nothing but f a c is equal to f c d and what is the value of a f a c that is p l by 2 that is what force on c d what question was asking what is the force on c d so we can see here the force on c d is p l by 2 so here as per the question the question is asking what is the force on the member c d so only one is satisfied that is this a p l by 2 so in this case this answer will be Download our revolutionary app for free. Okay.